Smartphone Insider here, and today I have for you a big box good. This is the C4 by Blue with an explosive 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor, four-inch curved glass display, five megapixel front camera, five megapixel selfie camera, eight gigabyte internal memory, running Android 8.1 Oreo Go Edition. Stick around for some delicious bokeh shots of this brand new C4. So I ran to Best Buy today to pick up a new phone. I really wanted something inexpensive to review, to look at, to shoot delicious bokeh shots with, and unfortunately I ended up with the C4. I was really hoping to get my hands on something like a Motorola G6 or maybe even a used Galaxy Note 9, which they had open box for $850, but I didn't feel like spending $800 of my hard-earned money, and because the G6 is now $250, it was $200 during Christmas, I settled for the C4. The entire trip home, I sat in the car unenthused thinking about the review I was going to make. Here's a phone with no fan base, no features, no balls, really. Even the unboxing experience I knew would be uneventful. And it was. The unboxing experience was terrible, and this phone looks and feels like shit. But as soon as I turned it on, everything changed. That's because this phone actually isn't as bad as I originally thought. In fact, it's better than the $69 tablet I reviewed two weeks ago, and for $50, I think is a better option than, say, the Nokia 3310, which was actually on display directly beneath it. It has a touchscreen, a 5 megapixel camera, and I can actually use the internet on it unlike on the 3310. The user interface, although hard to make out and thoroughly enjoy thanks to its terrible display, was fast, smooth, and responsive. Completely aghast at how much I grew to love this little C4, I sat down to write this review. That's right, I am producing this review on exactly the same day I bought the device. Normally I wait two days, but today I feel like writing and filming my heart's content. This little C4, though not the most impressive device, will impress you in many ways given its 8GB of internal memory, international 3G data cap ability, 4G HSPA Plus ability here in the US, Android 8.1 Oreo Go Edition, and micro SD expansion up to 32 gigabytes. However, as quick as I loved this device, the quicker I fell out of love with it, when I realized I could hardly see it in the direct sunlight. Blue, please do something about the display you put on a $50 device. If I were Blue, I would spare the camera and opt for 4 gigabytes of internal memory instead of 8 for a better, more capable display. I know Blue can make this happen. And maybe if we can't get the attention of Blue, we can get the attention of another company to develop a low-cost screen that can perform in direct sunlight that isn't OLED. There are so many of us out there who need a new smartphone who cannot afford one who need to be able to see their phone while standing in the direct sunlight, such as when waiting for a bus, a taxi, or for a friend to pick us up. I do thank you for including a headphone jack and for including a case, a sticker, a screen protector, and other goodies not found in other more expensive smartphone packaging such as the iPhone or Samsung Galaxy. For now, for $50, this is the best phone I've ever reviewed, and I look forward to using it and having it for many more months to come, and possibly even years. This is Smartphone Insider. The Blue C4 is a big box good. My name is John.